we're going to do a real simple band here uh, just to see how this thing goes uh, we got a uh, little curve we went into tools we're going to ring rail and we're going to put a size seven out there and we're just going to do a simple sweep because we're just going to do a real simple uh, band and we've got a profile uh, but we don't want that one so we're going to select a, a new profile just a simple one i, I made up a, a while back add that in there uh, we've got a curve selected so we're going to go over here to curves and drop it in the curves box and it'll load our uh, profile onto the curve after all the lag uh, stops <clears throat> there we go and uh, we'll go through a side view so we can get a good look at our profile Right now it's 2.3 by 4.6. We'll just make it a simple four by two and a half and hit enter. We have our profile loaded. So we're gonna do a surface. We need to make a surface. So we're gonna do a surface one sweep uh, and uh, we'll select our uh, curve and our profile and check yeah it looks good hit enter and it'll give us a sweep out there and that's what we want so we'll select that and turn it to green a little bit nicer on the eyes okay so we have our little curve and it already has the nice rounded edges which i like because i don't have to go through and do all the edges and now we're going to go into curves and we're going to turn it's on red so we're going to get an iso curve out of this band here so that we can uh, add stones uh, let's see let's turn on our quad champs kind of let's look looking down on it let's give it some uh, texture there so you can see it nice and we'll put it right in the in there and click all right and now we'll go back to prospectus oh it's on the inside so that's not what we want so let's go back and redo that iso curve select surface in fact iso curve and let's Zoom in a little bit. And put it right in the center. Okay, it's on our outside. It looks a little off, so let's go to side view. And uh, we'll drag it over a little bit so that it's more in the center all right and we'll go back to perspective now we want to put some gemstones on there so we're going to select that iso curve and we're going to go over to gems gems on curve loading the menu load our curve in and it'll load the gems on the curve after uh, with the lag time. Maybe I didn't put it in there. There we go, there's the curve. Okay, so it all should load our gems on there in a minute. There we go. So now we have our start and end position. So we want to first change these to object so that the stones are all pointing toward our object. And 
Mm, taper chins to spacing styles. No, we want to come up. Let's go to side view. Uh, let's go through her finger here. And we don't want them that far down. Maybe right there and over here. Turn off our snaps. There. Okay, and then we want our gyms top so that they're flush with the top of the ring. Now let's take a look at this. There we go. All right, so that looks all good. And then we we'll enter. And it'll place our gems. There we go. And now we want to uh, do a cutting, a channel around it. And we'll put our gems in here. And I don't like that cutter, so we'll change the cutter here real quick. Let's go with this one. And we got that one. Now I don't like round. Let's go with the cap square. Okay, now let's do a balloon because it's. Uh, a lot easier to. Surface. There. Now we can see the a little bit better of what we're doing. First, we want to drag this out because we need some extra room on both sides for the prongs. Drag that out a little bit. Make this a little bit wider so we have room for the prongs. It's real, real deep, so we're going to drag this up. Still a little... Don't need it that low. Yeah, yeah, a little bit more. Ew, no, 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 not that much. Now we're back down to where we. Ooh, what happened there? Marine. Um, I don't like that. I need to see a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, let's just do this. There we go. We'll take that. And there's our gym sitting there. All nice, spaced out, got it, okay. So now we're going to uh, add some prongs on here. Uh, tools, is it a tool? No, no, no. Gems, no. Solid. Oh, well, I tell you what, we can just hit F6. And wait for it to uh, load because the lag. Uh, it turns it prongs. And now you can see it's got our prongs on there. The first thing you always want to do is drag the prong depth down because it never wants to. It wants to lay right on top, and and uh, it's hard to uh, when you go to uh, balloon them or join them together. It's uh, doesn't uh, like to uh, I don't know why it's not showing though showing the prong depth anyway that's deep enough I'm sure now we want to look to see how our prongs are lined up uh, what's our prong side taper prong Let's make them a little bit bigger and then let's nudge them in a little bit so we have some nice little prongs for them and we got a nice little space so we'll hit we'll, we'll take that inner 
And now let's see what it looks like. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to select our gems and go into cutters because we want holes. There are little areas for those to sit. And we'll put, add those on, wait for them to load. My computer is uh, not good on the internet. It's a lot faster when it's off. And there they are. So first thing you can do is you can see that they're not going through to the bottom. So we, we definitely want the holes. So we're going to drag the lower depth down, but we do not want, want the cutters to be touching each other. So we're going to wait and see how long this takes. Yeah, kind of. There we go. You can see none of them are touching, so it's okay. And then we'll go back and uh, take a look at our cutters here. We don't have our uh, prongs size. We got the prongs size we want, so but they're not connected to the ring yet. So the, the cutter will, if I just select the ring, they will not cut the prongs, which is what I want. Uh, I'd rather cut my own seats than have the uh, have the cutters uh, pre-cut them for me, especially in the growing process, it's much easier. Uh, a lot of the times the cut's too small anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, and now we're going to go into Boolean and we're gonna select our cutters. Well, okay, take the ring and put it in our object that's going to be cut and then we'll take our cutters select our cutters here and we'll add them in we don't need to keep the cutters we'll do them one by one it might be a little bit faster but it's probably gonna be pretty slow because of the internet and then we'll do the bullion which is going to uh, subtract the orange from the green the green from the orange, so, so it's gonna cut little holes in it. Actually, it's moved pretty quickly. I'm pretty amazed. Uh, and then we've got our holes cut for stones. And if you hide the stones, you can see that uh, it has nice little holes. So now we'll take our prongs. We want to join those with the ring so put those in there, those in there one by one and do a bullion join. And it'll join all the prongs to the ring. And it takes forever, so. I'm doing a uh, video And it looks like it joined all the prongs. So now it's one solid piece. There's no holes or, or there's no openings, let's hope. So let's check. So we'll take our ring, go ahead and slide it back in the cutter if it, and it comes up with the green arrow here. So that means that it's a solid piece and it will grow fine. Uh, let's add our stones back in there and we'll do a little rendering just so you can kind of get a little idea of uh, what that's all about. Uh, we'll put our video down here. Uh, and let's see, we'll go to render and uh, go with our uh, render engine over here, V-Ray. And we'll kind of position our ring where we get a little... nice look at it and we'll let's do yellow gold and we'll make the stones diamonds there's a lot of stones in there so it takes a while to load up scroll down to diamond just normal diamond add those in now we need a plane for a background so I add that in and then I go to my go-to which is cherry uh, cherry wood 
and we'll take the plane and put it in there and then we'll do a render and this will take a little bit of time it's got to uh, do all the math and color coding and all that fun stuff actually for the recording it's to me doing pretty good kind of surprised actually if it's still recording <laughs> And you can tell that the ring it did a really good job on the wood. I love that background. It just makes it look really nice. And here we go. Just about done. Let's make that big. Let's zoom in. And there's our there's our A ring when a render and you can save this or whatever so that's pretty cool uh thanks for watching i uh, just thought i'd throw it out there <laughs>